as much as I love the creative process, sitting and editing for 10 to 12 hours every single day is a challenge in itself. A change of place definitely helps. But choosing the right place is important as well because even these places at times are distracting. I think I'm lucky to be living in a city that's so close to the coast. Literally a doorstep away. With this kind of bizarre editing lifestyle, a good laptop definitely helps. I hope you guys enjoyed that short little cinematic and yes, so when I first started looking for a laptop, my lifestyle and work was of the priority which means I needed mobility with high performance. So that's when I got this laptop, the Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 30 and uh, this is the first of its kind which means there have, they have been very uh, different variants and new versions um, and 2020 has the 5i and 7i, the latest series. This video is not sponsored by Lenovo in any way, but I'm just explaining my laptop and my buying guide, my process, so that you guys find it a bit easier to decide which laptop works best for you in case you're in the field of content creation and travel filmmaking or editing in general. So this laptop in particular supports 4K editing and that's the craziest part which I never expected. So the, the specs of this particular laptop is it's got an 8GB RAM, uh, 1050 graphic card, it's not a 1050 Ti, uh, but it's a 1050. It's got 8th generation uh, i7 processor and it's got 128GB of SSD. So when I bought it, this was first of its kind, uh, this category of sort of work-based gaming laptops which meant uh, light in size and form and also it packs a punch in its hardware. Now this video is not a flaunt for Lenovo's laptops but it is sort of a guide for you guys to know what you should be looking for in a laptop if you are into content creation or filmmaking or editing or all of these things. In my experience there are 5 features that you need to look for which is the RAM, the display, the processor and the memory and the graphic card. So when it comes to processors, you have to make note that a lot of laptops come with a power saving variant of a processor. Now when it comes to Intel processors, there's, there's a H and a U symbol that denotes it. Um, when it comes to RAM, I'd, I'd suggest 16 gigs or more. And nowadays laptops come with two slots which can support 16, 16 which means 32 and that, that's going to be a really good deal uh, if you are into editing and there's a lot of larger projects for you to handle. Now mine is an 8GB and I'm doing fine but I am thinking of adding another stick of 8 which means it will be a total of 16GB. Some of the best deals in laptop always come with a catch which is a decrease in the display quality. So now what you should be looking for in a display is color accuracy and color reproduction. And a lot of laptops now offer Pantone verified displays and 100% or 99% sRGB approved displays. Now, and that is very important as a filmmaker, as a content creator to have the right colors because this particular display is not the best of quality and it has a sort of um, a greenish tint to it which I've discovered through um, a lot of viewing of my own video in different platforms so that's why I kind of rely on my color wheels like I've, I've spoken in my previous video for the color grading so which means even if I look at something wrong I know technically the colors are right but that shouldn't be the case and that's not an ideal case so you always have to make sure you get a really good display for what you're paying and then coming to the graphic card i wouldn't say it is the most important because nowadays a lot of graphic cards are sort of generic in in terms of performance and that you really have to shell out for a high-end graphic card for example the rtx 2060s have been incorporated in some of the laptops now and they are a really good deal but they don't do a lot for the editing process because programs like Premiere and After Effects tend to use processors much more than GPUs but I'm not saying GPUs are completely neglected. 
prioritizing your budget is the key here and getting a good processor that can operate very well with large files and large processors is more important than having a high end graphic card in your system one thing i kind of made a mistake in mine was not having enough memory and i'm i'm not talking of a hard disk i'm not talking of the hdd i'm talking of an ssd and that is really important in a laptop especially for editing programs now an ssd is miles away in terms of performance compared to a hdd and mine only has 128 gb i wish this had 512 or a bit more because then i'd be able to i have this power of you know taking a project and putting it in the ssd while i work which will be super fast very efficient and then i can always move back the files to a hard disk and that needs to be a priority uh, make sure you get something more than 256 gb because you'll have a lot of applications that use ssd's power to run just to name a few that i have really good deals right now is i think asus zephyrus if i'm not wrong the legion has come out with the fire i7 i asus has the tough series and there's a lot more definitely there's a lot more and we can always filter out and get the right laptop with based on these specifications that i mentioned that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you learned something out of this so next time you're buying or you're maybe your friends buying a laptop you can specify what he needs to look for and all right i'll see you guys in the next video let me know what you want to learn or what i can share from my experience and i should do that leave a thumbs up leave a comment and maybe subscribe if you're new here all right i'll see you guys peace out